Hey Tad Siege. Um, you know what? I saw this video. I'm trying to remember, but I think it was before the storms hit here. And I thought to myself, I'm going to do a video response to that. Never had the opportunity to, so now I am. So I'm sorry for the delayed response, but here you go. Um, I think a lot of the same things that you do when it comes to parenting, my philosophy is that people have no problem procreating. They have no problem giving birth. However, they do have a big problem when it comes to parenting. Um, it doesn't stop the moment that you pop your spawn out. Uh, you know, you're supposed to care for your offspring. You're supposed to teach them right and wrong, and you're supposed to make sure that they respect society. I think that that's one of the things, you know, when I was growing up, and I hate that expression because it takes me back to when my parents, when I was a kid, but it's true. When I was a kid, um, rules, manners, and respect were very, very important. Now, I'm not saying that they're not important now. Obviously, they are. I can say that my children aren't as good about saying yes, sir, and yes, ma'am as they should be, but they do say it, and we do remind them that they need to say it. I think the reason that they have a problem remembering it is the friends that I had back when I was a child, they were expected to use the same, they, they were expected to say the same thing. They were expect, respect, expected to re respect adults. Nowadays, you go into places and parents feel as if their children are so damn entitled, and I, and I don't know why. And, and in some situations, they are entitled. Um, what I mean by that is sometimes you see children that are special needs or whatnot that re that require special consideration for whatever it is that they have. But you have just normal children running around, nothing wrong with them, except for their mother and father have taught them that it's okay to do whatever you want to do, and they act like absolute heathens. I see it all the time. It drives me insane. And to be totally honest with you, I see it in my own family sometimes. We had Easter. And if my family sees this, they're going to be so angry at me, but it's true. We had Easter. One of the children in particular kept taking the eggs he would see, the uh, my children. And coincidentally, my son, my oldest, who's autistic, uh, was giving his eggs to the younger children. But this other child, who was older than the smaller ones, uh, was running up and snatching eggs before they could get them. Um, I said something aloud that he could hear and that he could comprehend, but he didn't really care. He continued doing what he wanted to do. And that just didn't, you know, it's one of those things in which, yes, I could go to, the, to his parents, yes, their family, yes, I could say something, but what is it going to do aside from causing a big fight? Because the truth of the matter is, people are aware of the way that their children are, but they usually condone it and, in most cases, promote it. They teach their children that they're special, that... You know, they have every right to do and say and behave however they want to do, too, because they're little individuals, and it's their God-given right to be little beasts if they are so inclined. Um, there are children at my daughter and son's school who are like this, too. It's it's a shame, and it's, it's very sad because my children are taught respect. They're taught rules. They're taught all these things, but when they're around children that are not, they have a very difficult time grasping why it is that Johnny or Sue gets away with what they don't. And they ask. They ask, why do they get to do this and I don't? Why do they? And we have to explain to them because they're not respectful, because they haven't been brought up properly. You know, if it gets back to their parents, oh, well, we're just being honest. If they get angry about us being honest, that's just too bad. I think if something's not done soon and if parents don't take more responsibility and don't learn to parent their children versus throwing them into a bedroom with a computer and letting them go and do whatever they want to do because they don't have time to parent because, yeah, they like the idea of being a mom and a dad, but they don't like the idea of being an actual caregiver. This world is going to turn out to be one messed up place. I don't even want to think about the society and the future that my grandchildren will inherit because it's become, it's become, it's, it's starting to get out of control. It's really sad, but it is. Um, it's one of those things that you look at the way society's changing. And you know what? To be totally fair, I'm sure that my parents before me and their parents before them worried in the same fashion that we are because, you know, we're nothing like the 50s, are we? Time changes. But you have to reach a point where you wonder how much is too much? When should a foot be put down? 
Yes, we live in a society in which you have free will and free speech and all of these wonderful things. But when you allow your children to take advantage of them and don't show them the way to respect and to um, realize just how fortunate they are to have them, how dangerous it can become. Am I making sense here? I hope so. But I do know what you're trying to say. And yes, it, it is very annoying, very disheartening. I hate it when I go into the store and I have children. And I, when I see a child in a store and their parent is standing right to the side, but they're letting their child run amok and they're throwing things around and breaking them. I was actually, the other day I was in Hobby Lobby and there was a little, there was a mother who was with her two children who had found a little girl wandering around. The little girl was probably about three or four. She was crying. She couldn't find her mother. And, you know, I kind of watched from a distance because I figured, okay, I'll step in if, if, if they can't find her mother or go get the manager while they stand there. She had two little children. And she walked three aisles over, and there was the mother who had an infant. And she was holding the infant, and she was just busy doing her own thing. Meanwhile, her three-year-old, was very fortunate that a mother had found her instead of some stranger who could have picked her up, tossed her over his shoulder, acted like she was throwing a fit, patting her back, and walked right out of the store with her. You know, it could have happened. She's damn lucky that a stranger with a kind heart who was a good parent noticed that child and, uh, and picked her up and made sure she got her back. I don't know what's wrong with people. I just truly sometimes, I don't, you know, I knew when I became a mother the minute that my daughter, my first child, was born, I realized how monumental, it was significant, how huge a change in my life it, it, for uh, several reasons. For one, I'd always thought I thought what, I knew what fear was. I had no idea. You don't know what fear is until you have a child because up until that point, it's about you. It's not about someone else. Um, you know, my children are the most important thing in my life. I live everything around them. Do I have my own life? Well, certainly I do, but... It's a life that pertains and is outside of raising my children, ensuring that my children are cared for and provided for, and things of that nature. You know, the way that I look at it is I'm not going to be free of that obligation that I've cast upon myself until my children are 18 years old. And in the event of my special needs child, it could be forever. But that is something I decided when I decided I wanted to get pregnant and we wanted to have a family, and that's just the way it should be, but unfortunately is not for a lot of parents. So... That's my take on it. That's how I feel. Uh, and I just wanted to share that with you. So uh, there you go. There's my little two cents on the matter. I did get your email asking about your Jenga. I will try to respond if I have the opportunity. I'm very behind and I'm trying to catch up on channels now. So uh, if I don't talk to you soon, I hope you have a fantastic weekend. And this is a great topic. So thanks for bringing it up. Bye.